So what does alpha really means? And these are questions for Melissa and Robert. I think when we think about the generative AI space, it's really important to understand what part of the stack we're talking about. So if we're talking about the top of the stack and applications that an actual user is going to interface with, it's very important to understand to what extent that actual application requires domain expertise. And the more domain expertise, the more complicated the compute, the more compute is required and the more costly it is to execute, which means that the output of it can be challenging or extremely costly. So I think from an alpha perspective, what is really important about that is understanding which parts of the investment process require complicated domain specific complexity and those that do not, and that can potentially answer your question. Yeah, so the alpha beta decomposition question for us is central to the, the business model and, and the, the way that we approach the market. So the way that we look at investing in hedge funds and absolute return, it's kind of it's critical to separate out what is the independent source of return that's not coming from other passive factors. So that means traditional market factors like equity beta, fixed income beta. We also look at a whole suite and range of alternative risk premia. So we'll do an exercise of first of all specifying what a model looks like in order to perform a regression based on factors that we know and identify and are germane to the strategy or product set in question. But then we also go through this exercise of looking at thousands of different alternative risk premia and things that have been fitted or created by different parts of the QIS universe, compare that to global market benchmarks and indices, and then we'll actually use AI within that process in order to distill down and say, Let's separate this out. We use this lasso technique in order to penalize a model that's overfitted or has too many different variables. You know, for us, it's kind of endemic to the whole approach. We separate out the cash return, and then we figure out how much of the risk in a strategy that the actual realized volatility is coming from alpha sources as opposed to from these other components. And then I'll just you know round this out by saying that one thing that's really impacting our portfolios now. We'll talk about this from an investment theme standpoint is that there isn't a great alternative risk premium or a, a factor that's measurable, identifiable today that fully captures the AI theme. You know, the correlation impacts and implications of this part of the, or the, the, the market landscape today is still finding its way into new markets and parts of the, the portfolio. So there's a big area of research now, just not just for us, but throughout the hedge fund space in order to properly capture that, figure out are we getting beta to AI or are we getting alpha? Just because it's it's unaccounted for doesn't necessarily mean that it's that's idiosyncratic uh, or something that's uh, that's bringing diversification that we need. Thanks.